Remember I illustrated something to you here that although the subsidiary has control over the subsidiary, I wrote the word cannot here because not all entities can prepare consolidated financial statements. Not all entities can prepare consolidated financial statements. So the question we then ask ourselves is, which type of entities who will have control but still cannot prepare consolidated financial statements? And so we call that exemption from the preparation of consolidated financial statements. So according to IFRS 10, the fact that you have control doesn't mean you can prepare financial statements. So the following type of entities are exempted from the preparation of consolidated financial statements. One, the entity itself is a wholly owned subsidiary or is partially owned with the consent of a non-controlling interest. That's the first thing. That is why I told you here that the subsidiary in the middle cannot prepare consolidated financial statements. Why? Because they are owned by another company and they're receiving an NCI also in addition to that. That's the first thing. Second, its debt or equity instruments are not publicly traded its debt or equity instruments are not publicly traded. It means the company is not a listed company. That's the second thing. Three, you are not listed and then it did not or is not in the process of filing its financial statement with a regulator for the purpose of publicly issuing financial instruments. So if you are not currently listed, However, you are in the process of getting listed, then you can prepare consolidated financial statement. But if you are not, thou shall not do it. And the last thing is that the ultimate or any intermediary parent produces consolidated financial statements available for public use that complies with IFRS. What does that mean? It means that there is another company, the parent company, that prepares the consolidated financial statement and the information of that subsidiary is included in their financial statement. So how can your data be included in another company's consolidated financial statement? Then you will prepare consolidated financial statements. It's not possible. For all these type of conditions, the entity may have control but cannot prepare consolidated financial statements. And that is the idea about control. So we've looked at the concept of control, how we get it, why an entity with control cannot prepare consolidated financial statements. We've looked at significant influence and the indicators of significant influence and how we apply the consolidated or we apply the IAS 28. Now, the third area which is going to be interesting is to talk about the concept of goodwill. The concept of goodwill. So that's number three.